How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is Real Talk with Nutty New and today's video is the subject about C19. I'm not going to say the whole word because YouTube might censor me but <clears throat> today we're just going to go ahead and talk an evaluation. An evaluation timeline of C19 because it's been almost one year. It's in March 2021. You guys remember that March 2020 was when everything kind of went up crazy. <laughs> So let's take a look back to last year. Last year, January 20, everything was beautiful. February 2020, everything was beautiful. But then something happened in Wuhan, China. According to people, there's a virus. So there was a virus in Wuhan, China, which is a pretty big city, right? Now, I'm not going to give you guys all the details because I don't know all the details. You guys can do your own research. This is just an evaluation. So, a virus happened in Wuhan. The whole wide world was watching Wuhan. Everybody was watching Wuhan. They were building new hotels or no, no, they were building new hospitals within days after they heard that the virus was outbreak. You guys saw all the time lapse videos, construction workers, and et cetera, et cetera. So, the whole wide world was watching Wuhan for about three to four weeks, I want to say. And then all of a sudden, around, I say March, April, I want to say all of a sudden, by April, for some reason, everyone just took their eyes off of Wuhan, China. And when I say everyone, I mean the whole world, USA. There was no more media coverage about Wuhan. Nobody talked about Wuhan no more. Oh, we we're the, the China people. Uh, China was like, yeah, we're good now. We have it all under control. And everybody just accepted it. Like the whole USA accepted it. How do we accept that so easily, guys, for one reason? How in the world do we accept that? Oh, okay, Wuhan has it under control. And I don't know what's going on right now in Wuhan. I haven't been researching if they still have the C-19 virus going on, if people are still dying. I don't know if there are new hospitals that have been torn down or whatever the case may be. But the, the thing is that we were all focused on Wuhan because it's, because it's ground zero. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the whole wide world just took their eyes off and kaboom. USA, USA, the virus in USA, panic buy. Go get your stuff now because we're going to shut down the city. We're going to quarantine people for maybe one month only. We quarantine people for one month. Okay, the end of the month is over. And let's do another month, another month, another month. And then kaboom, George Floyd, the BL, BLM protest movement, that started. Okay, let's protest. Get back together, guys. Wear your masses. Uh, we should be fine protesting. Go out and practice our rights and stuff like that. And the whole summer, the whole fall season was all about protests, merit, uh, rights, human rights, this and that. We're not going to get into it. So the whole summer of 2020 was all protesting. And then slowly the winter season came. It became cold. Uh, well, protest. Um, a lot of rioting, looting. It got the season changed. Fall season comes. It gets colder. Election day comes. Election starts coming. Election starts. All right, let's go protest. Uh, election, election. Stop the steal. You're stealing the votes. Da -da -da. And then election's over. Okay, whatever now. Okay, now we have a vaccine, guys. We found a vaccine, you know, within eight, six months, we found a vaccine. So right now, the year 2020, we are in the, we are in the status. We are in the status of, hey, we have a vaccine now. Let's open the, let's open the city. Let's open, let's open business back up. <clears throat> let's open business back up. And I haven't done a lot of research on this new vaccine, guys. So I don't know if it's working. I don't know if there's side effect. So if you guys have personally take this vaccine, let me know in the comment and let me know in the comment section below. If you just know, if you know people that have taken, I don't want to, I don't want to, don't put a comment section because I want to know from people that have actually taken, is there side effects? Is it working? Do you think it's working? Uh, so right now we have the vaccine for C19. <laughs> And I, like I said, I haven't done a lot of research, so maybe you guys need to inform me. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. So there's a vaccine out there. I don't know if it's working. Is it free? Is it required? But here's what I think, though. <clears throat> I think in the next months or the next com or this coming year, 
I feel like pretty soon they're going to use that vaccine as a leverage. Oh, you can't fly because you haven't taken a vaccine. Oh, you can't go to work because you haven't taken a vaccine. Oh, you want to travel to this state and this place and you need to have the vaccine. So pretty soon, I think that's the that's what their end goal is. And if the vaccine is good, that's great. I, I support it. But let's just say the vaccine isn't working and they just want you to take it. And what if there's side effects? I was watching the movie Legend, Will Smith, the other day. And you guys know what? The, I, I, I watched it. I watched it before. And I watched it again. And I finally, fi- I, I just came to the conclusion that the, the virus started because... So in the movie The Legend with Will Smith, um, they created a cure for cancer. And everybody took that, right? And then all of a sudden, there was a drawback to that cure where they all turned into zombie. That's how the whole movie started. <laughs> and, and I was just thinking about the vaccine right now. What if we are taking that vaccine all of a sudden it has a drawback and all of a sudden it's like, ah, it's killing people. So just be careful, man. Like when something like that comes out in, in the, to the, into the world, um, I don't think I want to be the first person to take it. You know, I don't, I don't want to be the, uh, what's it called? The, the mice and the rats, the, the, whatever the guys, guess what I'm talking about. So, right now, we are in the state of, there's a vaccine. <laughs> Should you take it? Should you not take it? Is it free? I don't even know if the vaccine is free if, or if it's, uh, you got to pay for it. But there's just so much things going on right now. <laughs> and and like I said, right now, nobody's watching Wuhan. I mean, we don't even know. Like, that's ground zero. Nobody has really, there's so much answer that has never been there's so much there's so much question that has never been answered yet. Like we still don't know where the virus originally originally um, came from. I mean, was it really from Wuhan, or was it like a man-made virus? Um, and there hasn't been like I don't know. I don't watch the news a lot too, so that's one thing. But there hasn't been a lot of news coverage, at least from what I heard. Like there hasn't been enough coverage about other countries. Like I know before, when like around last year when March, April started, um, you know, there was media coverage about, oh, there's the virus has now reached Europe. The virus has now reached um, Paris or those other cities. And now is now it's, now all the media coverage you watch is just, oh, C-19 in, in USA, C-19 in USA. Like I have like what's what about other country? Because I watch other YouTubers that are posting videos presently and they're from other countries and people are just living normal life. You, you see a few people here and there wearing masks, but for the most part in other countries right now, it seems like it's just a typical day there. Like the virus is not even a thing. So it's, I don't know if, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if what I'm trying to say is that maybe the U S government is still using the whole virus as a leverage to control us or do something to us. So that's just something that I'm thinking. I'm just one of the person that like to think like that. Um, you know, I don't, you can't give your trust to the government too much, you guys. People, that's just not the way it works. Right now, we are in the state of vaccine. And then right now we have, there's not a lot of protests right now. There's a few other protests here and there. But right now we also have the whole Asian hate. And that's going to be another video. I'll make, I'll talk about that topic on a different video. So, I think the year 2020, you know, the, this year, 2021 summer, it's all going to be about vac- vaccination, vaccines, things opening back up, and whatever Biden is going to be doing here, here soon. But, to me, it's just, I just find it very, very interesting that all, how the heck did we all of a sudden, we were focusing on Wuhan, and then we just left. They're, we just left the media coverage. We just stopped worrying about them. And that's like within less than two months, I think. Everyone was watching them for two months or one month or so. And okay, bye bye. You guys are good now. Okay, let's focus on you on USA now. So is this weird or weird? Let me know, man. Explain to me. Maybe I don't have a clear vision of what's going on. Explain to me in the comment section. Discuss. Be civil. Be nice to each other. Um, what do you guys think? Vaccine? Good or no? Should you take it? Have you taken it? Should it is it is it gonna be a requirement soon? I'm scared that it's gonna be a requirement soon. I'm scared that one day they're gonna be like, Well, you must take this vaccine if you wanna do this, if you wanna participate participate in this activity, if you wanna go here, you might have you have to take it. 
So I feel like pretty soon they're gonna it's gonna be one of those things where they want you to take it. It's kind of like how a um, couple I think it's still in the process, but I know this is this is totally different from but I know like a couple of years ago they're talking about you know every human being is gonna get implanted implanted with a chip so they can track you where you are and where you go. And nobody wants to do that, right? Some people want to do it, but some people don't want to do it. And, you know, when you have a new vaccine and you also have the fear, oh, I don't want to catch the the C-19, well, guess what? You have to take this vaccine. So I feel like they're using that leverage. Like, imagine if they want to implant everybody with a chip so they can track you. You're going to say no, but what if they have fear? What if they brought another fear into that into that plate and now you have no option but to do it so it's kind of the way it's kind of it's just it's just a deep weird game it's the world the, the world is all a game guys it's a game and it's all about how who's playing which cars and which chess piece is getting moved so hopefully we stay on topic i feel like i talked talk too much or do too much different topic but the main thing is that how the heck did we went from c19 wuhan Forgot about them. They were ground zero. I came to the USA. It's in the USA now. And how the heck did the US drag it for so long? And now we're in the state of opening back up. There's a, supposedly a vaccine out there. We don't. I don't know. Is, has there been confirmation that it works or not? Has there been like an actual test where they took five people who, who had a who had C19 and put them in a room, and then they took one person that's fully clean vaccine them up and threw them in with those five people that's i think that's the only way to really test it so i'm not sure if they have done that test but if they have done it or if there's an article where they actually done that i would like to know and i would like to read on it but i feel like if they can prove that yes we threw one healthy human being that's negative and we vaccine him or her up and we threw them into a bunch of group that was all positive and he came back out clean. Well, I want to see those results. So if there's been a if there's been a test or an article or anything like that, let me know in the comment section. I want to read about it. Like I said, um, after after election, I pretty much just stopped watching the news and I just stopped reading articles and stuff like that. There's just so much, you know, so much drama out there that sometimes I don't even want to read it. Sometimes when I read through the news, I'll just look at the headlines really quick and then psh, I just I don't bother looking into it. So let me know. Let me know, guys. Inform me. Let me know what's going on in the world. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of Real Talk with Nutty New. Have a good night.